One, 14, seven, P8 scale, one through 14. Why did they number it one through 14? Somebody can answer this, they get some. But why one through 14? Somebody decided it to be that way. Exactly. Somebody just decided. Seriously. Seven is cool. Somebody just decided that 14 would be a good number because you got seven in the middle. <laughs> Once you start learning all this stuff, you're not going to be intimidated by these things. You know why the guy created the pH scale, this chemist? Because he wanted to measure the acidity of his beer. He was a home brewer, chemist, home brewer. He wanted to measure if his beer was alkaline or acid. So he created the pH scale. Now everything, in, now everything in hair products is all based on the pH scale. Because 1 through 7 is acid. 7 through 14 is alkaline. Now, when I was in class, the teacher would do this and I'd go, acid, alkaline. Okay, acid burns. It's got to be bad. Yeah. Right? But it's, it's, it's a flip-flop. Yeah. Yeah. Acid is good for hair and skin for hair and skin. Good. Alkaline, bad. For your body, for your inside of your body, the outside of your body, it's good. For the inside of your body, it's bad. This is good. Does that make sense to you guys? So when you eat food, you want it to be high in alkalinity and low in acid. When you put stuff on your, on your hair and skin, you want it to be acidic, not alkaline. So, you want to pick a product that has a great low acidity, low alkaline, because that's going to lay the cuticle down and close it and help you achieve that shine and health and give you that healthy look, okay? So there's a perfect place on the pH scale, it's 4.5. Have you guys ever heard of pH balance? Yeah. Write that down, pH balance. So when somebody says, that shampoo is pH balance. You're going to know that they're talking it's 4.5 on the on the, uh, on the on the on the on the scale, and what that's going to do is it's going to create smooth, shiny, healthy hair. Yeah. 